to benefit a little bit more from uh, from Parkhead. What we can do is uh, perhaps you might want to to add some custom uh, some custom stalls. So let's say just next to uh, just next to this uh, this uh, gas station over here, you have few of these. Uh, electric parking station or electric uh, charging stations what you have so I have created um, a number of uh, or just just one user defined stall so in the design parameters uh, obviously you can set uh, the parking standards you can set uh, how you would like to uh, to have the end islands generated or the corner islands also mid islands uh, certain stone numbering you can you can change the position of them uh, if you would like to have uh, wheel stops generated they are most likely or they are often used in North America but I have seen a couple of them in Europe as well and then you can have uh, certain uh, user defined stalls so by default the software comes with the mother's stall but I have also created an e-car so this is for electric cars, uh, a charging station. Uh, if I go, I'm going to edit one of these, uh, of these stalls. Then I can choose this to be either to be uh, a mid-island or, uh, or any of these custom stall types. So I'm just going to uh, hit apply for an e-car stall type. And then what you see is that uh, we have our custom uh, e-car symbol place here. So perhaps uh, I'm just going to create uh, four, four of these more. So as electric cars are getting more and po more popular, you have these uh, charging stations. And uh, you can just quickly uh, account for those like this. Also, if you have any other custom stall types, such as... Uh, car sharing or uh, or just short term short term uh, 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 parking stalls where uh, people can uh, drop off or pick up passengers and then just leave the station leave the, the facility very quickly you can just uh, create custom store types for that and then uh, and then design for those okay um, Next thing what we could do here is uh, to calculate uh, how many handicapped parking stalls do we need to, uh, to have according to the standards. So if I go back to the design parameters, the next standard what I have, the next category what I have is the accessibility standard. And again, since I'm using a, a Dutch guideline, I'm going to use uh, the criteria of this guideline as well. Uh, just similarly to to the parking standards and uh, you can create your own um, your own accessibility standard as well you can copy one of these or you can create a brand new and then different standards have different uh, different um, requirements so if we look into the North American one then this is like uh, it goes between ranges and then it applies, um, it requires a number of stalls between ranges. And then perhaps it changes after to a certain percentage after some range. So there are more possibilities to define these. Uh, the Dutch one, it uses some, uh, some just some percentage. So two, two percentage of the total parking stall stalls generated, those need to be handicapped parking stalls. So if I go back and uh, click on the accessible parking, I can quickly add in some accessible parking stalls uh, one by one, but if I would like to calculate how much do I need to have, uh, then I just need to select all of these parking stalls that I have uh, created. So obviously, you, I could have selected these uh, with a window, uh, with a big, big window uh, selecting all of these. But what we see here is that we have um, 
a total stores of more than uh, almost a hundred and uh, a thousand and, and one hundred fifty and for that we need to have 23 accessible uh, parking created so I'm just gonna hit uh, hit apply and then start adding few of these so we have few options uh, to do that there is one parking uh, so which or one one type which has uh, this extra space on the left hand side of it uh, there is another one which has this extra space on the right hand side of it and also uh, there is one which has uh, some um, uh, shared space so it places two of these and it has some uh, shared space uh, in between them so as I place these you see that these numbers are changing dynamically and I continuously have a feedback how many of these uh, do I need to place. So there's only one more I need to place so I'm going to change it to, uh, to a right access. And at this moment this turned to be green so I have fulfilled this requirement. Uh, I have met this requirement and I have uh, the 23 parking uh, accessible parking stalls generated <coughs> uh, for this whole facility.